We're treated to the presence of the, the two Japanese jumping beans in the form of Neo Justice, Sunshine, Happy Time, Good Time, Golden Swan, Lucky Duck, Golden Horse, Discount Store Double. I believe that's the official translation anyway. Oh. Matt Wolf drawing Matt Wolf calling for the bell even though uh, all four more men are in the ring. I, I would say he's lost control of this, but I don't think he even had control. There you go, Misha. I, I think the only people with control of this match at the moment are Neo Justice Double. They seem to have uh, the professional standard well in hand. Great teamwork from these two. Well, Neo Justice oh. Double, IPW specialist in the, uh, the the art of battle forms, they call them. These, these signature double team moves that hopefully we'll be lucky enough to see tonight. Oh. Well, and there's one right there. I, I struggle to even think what you'd call that other than impressive. That's right, the double knee, <laughs> double knee breaker. Uh, looks like it looks like they're getting ready to fly here, Big Nate. Oh no, Matt Wolf. Matt Wolf finally got some control. Yeah, well he's managed to get control of Neo Justice Double, but but trying to keep control of uh, the professional standard, it's going to be a, a harder task, I think. The professional Joseph Kincaid, uh, just uh, informing the audience he wasn't ready. Uh, from what I remember, they jumped uh, near D Justice, though. Ah, uh, well, you've obviously got a selective memory there, Kennedy. I think we need to look at the tapes to confirm that one. Here we go. With some semblance of a match now. Well, Joseph Kincaid, oh, Death Valley driver. It could be over early. Kazuki trying for a crossbody, but... But the professional Joseph Kincaid managing to catch the man in midair, and now it looks like he got a thumb in the eye or something. Kincaid complaining he can't see. Wow, well, looks like he's managed to uh, to heal it himself. Just just look at big, that elevation there, big knee. When he drops that knee across the throat of Kazuki. Kazuki is definitely in the wrong part of town at the moment. And, you know, as much as I dislike this tag team, this is why the professional standard are one of the top tag teams in the country, is their wrestling. And the fact that they'll try and help each other out, but it looks like Kazuki's had enough. Well, as you mentioned, they are one of IPW's top tag teams, and, and that's no mean feat in itself. IPW has one of the deepest, richest talent pools when it comes to tag teams. And that's it was right. only a few short months ago that we introduced those new tag team titles, and ever since then, it's been one of the hotless, hotly contested titles. Of and this is, this is what we're saying. It's teamwork like this that the professional standard had brought to this tag team division. If they could just control their hot head attitude, their hot headed in the ring, they, they could be a brilliant team. I think uh, Gary o Davis really needs to get control of his boys. Well, Gary Davis is not a stupid man. I mean, there's a reason they call him Mr. 100%. That's because it's on his business card? Anyway, he knows when, when's the right time to rein these guys in, you know? He knows when, when it's business time. He'll pull these guys in together when, when they need to be. But so so, so we, when is it business time? Look, just pay attention to the match, will you, Kendon? I, I'm trying to explain things to you. Oh, Link Van Hagen's showing that he knows a thing or two about a German super So does Joseph Kincaid. Oh, just Kazuki, though. <laughs> Well, that's four German suplexes from four. Eggman, I'm a suplex. Ah, oh, suplex number five there. Oh, oh and it came to back of the head roll up for good measure. I, what, what do you call that there, Kennedy? A uh, blur. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, just dropped it on my head. That's how you finish it. I'm, I'm amazed that... that that's that it's still breathing after that one. That's how you put a full stop at the end of that sentence. Kazuki now, though. 
Well, let's let's do a bit of a tally here. We've got uh, the professional Joseph Kincaid out on the floor. Lee Van Hagen was just dropped on his head, and he's at ringside. And in the ring, the legal men, uh, Misha Ivanov and Kazuki. <laughs> Ivanov ducking the clothesline there and uh, returning in kind. 